Hey YouTube, once again, yes indeed, third time, third episode, we're almost done with this bullshit, but to explain once again, if you didn't watch the other episodes for whatever reason, the capture fucked up in this recording session, I had to redo it like by myself, two hours just clicking uh, as such as we did before in the videos, so if the syncing's weird, that's why it, it was recorded after the session, but we still saved the audio and I was able to sync up things pretty well to the point you won't be able to notice i think at least i don't know about you you probably fucking hate it but that's what's going on so yeah um i'm editing them right now and it, it seems to be fine it was just a issue with uh the recording program i use and the fact that i got a new laptop so i had to switch up a bunch of stuff so but it's all fine now we're good so yeah um hopefully you enjoy this episode Hello everybody, welcome back to Dead Book 3000 Tale 11. We're gonna, um... What? We're gonna, 3, we're gonna pick 11. a father to father. And let's see who we got. Um, we did Craig. I see what you did there. You're gonna be a daddy to a daddy, you say. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what you meant at all. I don't know. I don't even know what you said. We're gonna... Wow! We have two stacks on Joseph, so we're gonna get two stacks on Craig. Because oh, I'm pretty sure everyone watching the last episode was like, Oh man, Craig, he's so cool. Wow, he has all these hoes. So we're going to go do that. What's with the recent recent thing with Craig, bro? I don't know, but I feel like we should have some consistency. They're going to be like, oh, I want to know what happens next with Craig. Well, plot twist. He's going to get fucked. <laughs> Nigga, I already got the plan down. We got it written in the notebook. Fucking kids next door operation smash. What that stand for, bro? <laughs> Sticking my <laughs> awesome sensual sensual H. I don't know. Read words. <laughs> really? Ever since the first time we hung out, I've been trying to get up a little early for runs. I don't think it's gonna be as embarrassing as last time. Maybe I'll even, I'll be able to catch up with them now. Type out a message to him on Dad Book. Why don't y'all got each other's number? Like y'all got phones? Right. We got whole phones with text messaging capabilities. He's out here trying to get clout on that Facebook Dad Book. Right. Craig responds almost immediately. Do they have women on Dad Book? Is this just like a sexist website? Right. Only for dads. Look. What gender are you, male or dad? <laughs> right. Non-binary dad. You know, all kind of puns for all the genders. Let's meet up early tomorrow for my favorite money, money activity, but runch. Wow. Wow. Run and then you get brunch. Sounds great. I think I'd rather get the brunch worst first. Joke. Dang, bro. <laughs> Wasn't it just daytime? All right, nigga went a whole day without doing nothing. Craig and I agreed that to a time to meet in the morning and have a chance to spend the evening hanging out with Amanda. Oh, I guess it's the next day. I thought it was today. Hmm. Why not just go on the run that morning? What you doing? You don't work. <laughs> How is my bills getting paid? You wake up and you date. Finesse niggas for meals. So we doing pizza tonight? Again? Can we do like a salad night? Dad, are you on a health kick? I already figured you out. Not yet. I formed the committee to examine the possibility of being on a health kick. They haven't returned with their findings. Dad, if you go on a health uh -huh. kick, then I have to go on a health kick by virtue of being on the same roof as you. I don't know if I have the constitution for that. Hmm. The committee isn't back with its findings yet. This is a multi-year assessment on several bureaucratic levels. Well... And then picks up the phone and stares at me, unblinking as she dials. Jesus, what kind of, like, yeah. sociopath dialing are we doing? Hi, yes, can I get an extra large pizza with chicken, bacon, extra cheese, and tomatoes, and a couple of garlic sauce cups? Does anybody ever use those sauce cups? I feel like they just sit in the box. Like, yeah? I don't think I've ever used them ever. Why would I even want to? I don't know. Fucking vampire repellent. <laughs> That's 
the whole purpose of them. So all this time, these pizza companies just been here to prevent those black right. vampires like uprising. A coalition of pizza places. Papa, they're all. <laughs> They all come from one, like, clan. Right. Separate clan just to fight vampires. They're splitting the factions. Those some Castlevania shit. Who do you hail for? <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Not a domino clan. <laughs> Nigga just got beef. Right. And like, oh no, it's the hut. Mm. Everyone just turns around. It's just beef. Oh no. Jeez. Oh no. <laughs> Everything's they breaking. They've been talking about them vampires. They know. Right. Coming up on us. They're gonna wake up dead. Mm. Wake up blood sucked. <laughs> They're getting sucked in his sleep. Mm. Hold on, to I'll death. ask. Dad, is, Re is oregano a salad? Bobby Smyrna once said, Shorty gave me neck till so I passed out. Shorty gave me neck till I passed out. Hey. Is that not what vampires do? I think you're giving them neck. <laughs> so you they taking it. Ain't nobody giving. We taking. Lord. Can't blame me for trying, nah, Rico. I'm talking to my dad. Let's go with the meat lovers fantasy. Sure, say hi to the wife and kids for me. They know them by name. Jesus. Right. Rico says, hey. <laughs> what happened to her boyfriend from like ten episodes ago? I think they said just friends. Mm -hmm. I think. She was, she was clearly like, oh, embarrassed about it. That's true. We never got to talk about that. Mm. Just be careful. Running is a gateway drug. It's a slippery slope, Dad. First, you go on a couple of light jogs, and before it, you're converting the garage to a home gym and renewing your subscription to some sort of wiki kombucha delivery service. Wasn't she, like, failing school, too, or something? I don't know. Her grades were dropping. Yeah. I think we saw, saw that. Shoot. What's kombucha? So you're not, you're not too far gone yet. I'm just giving you a hard time, Pops. I'm really happy you're running and caring for your health. I want to keep you around for as long as possible. Thanks, kiddo. Speaking of which, I'm running with Craig tomorrow. You gonna be able to keep up with him? Hey. Probably not. You <laughs> <laughs> left me more pizza, and it's probably healthy in the name of carbo loading. I call it a night early so that I'm ready for tomorrow. When I first started running in the mornings, it was pretty hellish. I don't know, I'm a few sessions in, it admittedly has become a little bit easier, despite it always ending in me dry heaving over a trash can. Is that what the runner's high is? Just dry heaving? Jeez, that's, that's, that's not normal. I don't think I've ever had that happen on any of my runs, ever. Right. I lace up my tennis shoes, throw on a t-shirt, from a writer's summit I went to 20 years ago, Head out the door at a moderate jog. Craig is already outside with River strapped to his chest. Bro, I remember this one time I was in track school, practice, baby. and this nigga beat like the entire football team in a race wearing some dickies. <laughs> <laughs> like, like pants? Like, like dick, black, straight black dickies. He didn't have no like shorts or nothing. Bruh. He was just wearing some dickies and like some Nikes and just like beat everybody. <laughs> That's some niggas you can't mess with, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's will fuck you up, bro. You gotta shoot a nigga like that no. if he try to fight you, bro. It's over. Any nigga still wearing dickies. <laughs> nigga, crazy athletic is some dickies. Go whoop your fucking ass. Right. And just this ain't the shit you trying to fuck with, bro. Right. <laughs> I ever see a buff ass nigga in some dickies? I'm crossing the street. Right. I'm running the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where you going? Class that way. Nigga, no, it's not. <laughs> y'all, y'all going to class. Nigga, I'm going home. Right. Get your ass, nigga, gonna rob you. Right, rob the whole school. Nigga. Don't hurt nobody. Just take their money. Right, you just walk into a nigga in high school, looking like a grown ass man, wearing some dickies. Run up to the fucking fuck math class. Fuck. Hey, you not in this class. Shut the fuck up. Run it, nigga. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> right away, class gets your student passes the front. Everybody just like, hey, you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they can't say shit either. Right. <laughs> they get <getting> run. <laughs> we ain't said none of this shit. <laughs> Not a damn thing. Oh, 
they, that's why our viewers have eyes. You know, they know how to read. <laughs> they can say, use your senses. All right, I'm tired. That's Arnold the Capybara. Sometimes it's the only thing that'll get her to stop crying. Oh, I've been there. Amanda had a stuffed panda that she carried around everywhere. She would have a tantrum if we ever tried to wash it. It was gross. She's been running lately. Every morning for 30 minutes. I'm basically an elite athlete by this point. <laughs> ah, well, I'll try to keep up. So where are we headed? I was thinking that we could do a couple laps around the park. Oh, okay, that sounds reasonable. Oh. Then we'll do some hill climbs up a slope. Uh, okay, I can probably handle that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll close it off by doing some wilderness survival like hike running to increase our agility. I'm suddenly struck with the overwhelming need to crawl back in a bed. Jeez. Mm -hmm. That sound okay to you? I usually like to throw some time murder sprints. <laughs> murder sprints. What? Nigga, <laughs> turn around. What? We do it. What? <laughs> Me murder who? <laughs> What kind of sprints we doing? That sounds like something I'm physically able to do. Physically able to kill? Bro! Great, let's get started. Nigga, what? Starting the purge. Oh, oh god. Oh, yeah. Nigga took us out to the field. Again! How many fields he taking us out to? Nigga, live out in the woods. Oh god, this huge box. You know what we do to huge boxes? <laughs> 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 nigga said, fuck it. Y'all got it. Alright. Good warm up. Nigga, wood. That was a wood. That was a warm up. Let's start the show. Hey. Wait. Bro. Craig reaches in his bag and tosses me a lean bottle. I fumble it, but thankfully I don't drop it. Double cup. <laughs> Gotta hydrate, bro. Oh. Just turns into fucking future. I could never do a future voice, even if I tried. It goes sound weird. I take a long drink of the lean and I feel reinvigorated. Man, I don't drink enough lean. Hey. I look down and pick up Arnold Rivers' toy and hand it back to her. Must have dropped this. A oh. toy's named Arnold. Same type of. Fucking niggas be out here doing murder sprints. Got a toys named Arnold. Arnold, bruh. Thanks for looking out, bro. bro. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I guess. My body's collapsing, hmm. so. Finish our however many teenth lap around the park. I'm breathing heavily, but I can't believe I actually didn't lose Craig. He's even breathing heavily, too, which makes me feel a little better. I look down at my shirt and notice that I'm drenched in sweat. Huh. Almost looks like a frowny face. That baby tired. Right. That's one. One what? what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my she made it. I'm just kidding. Good hustle out there. I'm really impressed. You're way better than the last time I launched you off a treadmill. Yeah, man. You really pushed me to my limit just now. I can't believe I held on. Sometimes you just need someone there where you push you to your absolute best. I'm glad I could be that guy, bro. <laughs> Who's ready for hill climbs? Oh. Lap. No. There's my little cheerleader. Rudy, you ready? <clears throat> How many H's? I guess we'll go with the littlest amount of H's. You bet! <clears throat> Craig takes me to a separate portion of the park where there's a steep hill that seems to go up forever. You think it's on Brokeback Mountain? I, I strain to see other joggers. So what do we do now? Hmm? Run up the thing. And then we run your pockets. That looks like a lot. Hmm. Rudy, there's two things you need to know about this hill. One, don't stop running till you get to the top. And two, I'm wearing dickies. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga about to take off! Alright. Bro! They gonna chase you up the hill. <laughs> oh man. Pick the most each. Let's <laughs> do this! <laughs> Fred, what just happened? I yeah, swear I'm ran. not seeing this glitch. <laughs> oh man. I finally reached the top of the hill after making my way past what I originally thought was the top of the hill. Once there, I hunch over onto my knees and gasp for air. 
My lungs are like daggers poking my ribs and fill my heart in my ears. That's not healthy. Right, you got a concussion. River, I'm having a moment, please. Oh boy. Craig looks like he's taking a beating as well. Huh, so he is human. Hmm. Rudy, put your arms on your head, stretch out your elbows, it'll help you breathe better. I do as Craig says. Feels a little better, but I'm still in agony. They had died. Oh. In here. Craig tosses the water bottle again. Hydrate like my life depends on it. It does. Thanks, dude. Dude. That damn lean, bruh. Phenomenal work. You feel the lightness in your head? That's the runner's high. Oh, that's it? I thought it was just, you know, dying. Oh. I'm gonna take it slow for oh, a bit. Man. Nigga trying to take it slow. I would like that very much. John Legend. As we're catching our breath, River starts crying. Aww. Uh, hmm. What's wrong, sweet pea? You wanna play with Arnold? She didn't shit herself. <laughs> nice. Oh boy, man, I think we lost Arnold. Not Arnold. Hey! I've abandoned my child's toy. We gotta find him, dude. Should be simple, right? Just gotta retrace our steps. I remember River having it at the bottom of the hill. Oh. Craig and I jog down the path, searching high and low for the stuffed caper bear, or whatever that says. Which Craig takes the time to explain to me. It's a large rodent native to South America. We get to the place where River might have dropped it. There's still nowhere to be found. Hmm. Looks like we got a mystery on our hands. We have to get to the bottom of this. I suspect foul play. Looks like there's a prime case for world renowned, world renowned detective cummies. Bruh. Dude, right. it's time for bro adventure. A bro adventure. Oh. We high five and jog back down to the park, see if we can find any leads. Hmm. So it looks like there's a couple more places to check. There's some bros around here that we can interrogate. Sounds good. Hey. Wait, who's good cop? Who's bad cop? I think about it for a second. Well, I think with your stature and overall resilience, you make an intimidating bad cop. Plus, you got those dickies on. Mm. But on the other hand, you have an adorable baby strapped to your chest. So that softens the edges a little bit. Oh. All valid points. I think you make a great good cop because of your congenial attitude, your willingness to try new things. But then again, I've seen how you get what did. There's too many commercials breaks during the show. So you have the potential to be a scary bad cop. Oh, so many words. Oh my goodness. You see how big that fucking box is? Right. God damn. Meat hell. I don't want to have to watch meat hell in three minute segment segments with five minutes of commercials in between. And they're loud. The commercials are too loud. I just want to watch my shows in peace without people yelling at me to buy waiver fluid and stuff. Hey. Case in point. Let's play it moment by moment. Oh. Smart. Mm -hmm. So, we're too protective. Well, let's find this thing as quick as possible. Clearly, it's in the field. We wander out to a grassy field at the center of the park. There's a whole lot to see. There are a few figures camped out on a blanket. The grass could hold any number of secrets. What the fuck is Might and Carmesita? Oh, it's That's those guys. I mean, it's the people. black people. My niggas! Ah, oh, you got to say that. <laughs> It's like, they can't either. None of the black people. Right. Oh, don't let him hear it. I can't be saying that. Right. I'm not trying to go back to the field. <laughs> hey, dudes. Hey, bro. Hey, nigga. Your real voice. Hey. <laughs> we just sat down for a picnic. Want some snacks? Why does every girl sound like that, dude? Got anything to increase my glycogen reserves? What? Oh, we have apple slices? Oh. That's nigga weird. <laughs> what the fuck does nigga talk about? Thank you very much, tiny bro, but I should be fine. Hey. You guys working out? Good day for it. Yeah, I'm in a picture of health and athleticism. Hmm. Good transition, Rudy. Say, you haven't been seeing a stuffed cap of bear around here anywhere, have you? Hmm. It's a cap of bear. Right. What is this word? How do you say it? I don't know. 
I don't speak that language. <laughs> that non-English shit. <laughs> I ain't with that non-American. We only speak American. Trump right? time. That Trump. That damn, that damn redneck. <laughs> nah, I can't even put my name with Trump. I can't even do it. I think it's Fuck Trump. that nigga. You don't even got a neck. You got like a flap. A whole like I think flap. You got a turkey jowl. <laughs> you got hot air just collecting. Right. I feel like he like you know how frogs like their whole like thing is big. <laughs> I was just about to say the same thing. He like a lizard monster. He's a fucking amphibian. He's a lizard person. The fucking conspiracy, bro. Ain't fur. no damn way, bro. I feel like these Republicans, these niggas are weird. They can't be human. Like, so weird, bro. They on some other level stuff. They want like niggas to raise. Bessie their Devo, she baby fucking like, what's molts wrong with and them? shit. She like sheds her skin. She's weird. Ah oh, man, all them niggas gotta go. Has some terrible laws. Wait a second, how do you know what a capybara is? We got ten million for the wall, bruh. The wall. We the laws. It's over. The meme is done. They trying done. to lock us in here. <laughs> right. You can't leave now. You should have went back to Africa when you had the chance, nigga. Right. They're about to reinstitute slavery. Right, That's why they this, built the wall. It's cotton. We don't even sell cotton anymore. You're just picking it right. cuz. Bro, we're fucked. <laughs> Can't do shit. Oh my god. About to be chained up. We are about to kill the person though for the grid. How old are you? You're tall. It's <laughs> like the whole time. She's like six foot. Right. I mean, these niggas are like seven feet tall. Every single one of them. Everybody in here is just tall as shit. <laughs> Everybody wearing dickies. <laughs> Everybody in there. Everybody with, she got overall dickies. Why she stanced up like that? Right. She, why she so cool? She, she's fly as hell. She remind me of number five. Oh man, how do you do her voice? Cree Summers. That's amazing. I was literally voice actor. just watching that Actress. shit earlier. I'm like, damn, her voice acting is on fucking point. It's crazy. She just like three characters in this show. Ridiculous. Oh my god, what if I took her on a, What if I'm the culprit yeah, and I yeah. just don't remember? I quickly check my body for any Polaroids I might have kept on my person to remind me of who, who to trust and who not to trust. I saw a mental once. I'm pretty sure that's how it exactly works. like that Rick and Morty episode. Yeah. Man, memeing it up, huh? I was just, I just started watching it in between like my games. It's a pretty decent show. But what if that's what I wanted myself to think? Mm -mm. No, Rudy, don't let them win. I don't like Jerry though. He's a fucking dumbass, bro. He is. He's so, but... so fucking stupid. It oh, just pisses man. me off. I mean, that's the point. Nobody likes Jerry. Nobody likes this nigga, bro. I shake off the thought. I saw a couple scars on my trail. I don't know if the else we will see some cute squirrels. You should definitely check it out. I don't know. Thanks for the hot squirrel tip, Carmen Sita. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Triple kill. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better get moving. Gotta find that Cappy Bear before Bro, you River. You can't say triple kill because I just thought splash. <laughs> You gotta auto-tune that now. Oh lord. Good luck! Let me get some apples for the road though. Apple apples. me up. I'm gonna see what hooks me up with some road slices and we're on our way. Apple and we're gonna you. maneuver back to this field. On the next episode, we're gonna get some apple slices. We're gonna plant a tree, grow the tree, and then jump off the tree. What? <laughs> we're, what? We ending it. See you later. Wow, it, it's all done. It's over. We never found the capybara. You never bagged the dad. Never bagged the dad. Never found my will to live. <laughs> All right. It's getting dark. <laughs> <laughs>